Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrek. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa at Sakhir Palace senior royal family members to greet His Majesty on the occasion of the 22nd anniversary of the National Action Charter, the NAC. The members congratulated His Majesty the King on the occasion, expressing pride in Bahrain's comprehensive and leading achievements in all fields thanks to His Majesty's leadership, which gave it a high status among world countries. They wished His Majesty abundant health and happiness to continue the march of progress and growth during his prosperous era. His Majesty welcomed the attendees and exchanged congratulations with them, expressing thanks and appreciation for their noble sentiments. He affirmed that the NAC's anniversary is a comprehensive launch in the march for developing state institutions and constitutional powers, and that the Charter's constant, constants with their promising visions will remain a motivation for the people of Bahrain towards further growth and development of the role of the legislative institutions, as well as further popular participation based on a developed democratic approach. His Majesty the King expressed his satisfaction and pleasure with the large turnout of the youth from the royal family, which heralds a bright future based on commitment to serve the country and its citizens. He highlighted that they are following the steps of their ancestors who put the foundations of the country, expressing aspirations to continue these efforts towards a bright future that affirms Bahrain's global status. His Majesty congratulated the people of Bahrain on the occasion, wishing them many happy returns with further progress and prosperity. His Majesty commended the efforts of the people of Bahrain and their dedication to serve their country and protect its gains, affirming that Bahrain is on the path towards further development and growth with the unity of its people and their endeavors to make further achievements and gains in all fields. His Majesty the King reiterated Bahrain's stance and solidarity with Syria and Turkey and their people and providing all support to overcome the repercussions of the latest earthquake. He expressed his appreciation and pride in the humanitarian relief efforts of the BDF's Royal Guard Search and Rescue Task Force in the Sawad al Ghaith campaign in affected areas in Turkey with the follow-up of the National Guard Advisor and Royal Guard Commander Major General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the honorable support of citizens and residents in the national campaign organized by the Royal Humanitarian Foundation to aid Syria and Turkey. He expressed his appreciation for the Foundation's efforts and endeavors in that regard. His Majesty highlighted Bahrain's noble humanitarian role and its approach of providing relief to those in need and those affected by various disasters in brotherly and friendly countries. A commemorative photo was taken on the occasion. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Sakhir Palace in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Representatives Council Speaker Ahmed Al Msallam, Shura Council Chairman Ali Al Saleh, the Vice President of the Supreme Judicial Council and President of the Court of Cassation Sheikh Khalid bin Ali Al Khalifa, and President of the Constitutional Court Abdullah Al Buainain, where they congratulated His Majesty the King on the 22nd anniversary of the vote on the National Action Charter and expressed pride in His Majesty's leadership and approach, hailing the qualitative achievements made for the kingdom and its people in his prosperous era. 
They prayed to Allah the Almighty to bless His Majesty with abundant health and happiness. His Majesty the King exchanged congratulations and thanks, uh, thanked them for their kind sentiments. He hailed the numerous achievements made by the legislative authority in terms of developing laws and legislations and enhancing the march of civilizational development. Also, in defending the country's high interests as well as the important role of the judicial authority in promoting the principles of justice and quality and preserving rights and freedoms. His Majesty noted the level of cooperation and coordination between the executive and the legislative authorities and the importance of strengthening it for the benefit of the country and its citizens. His Majesty recalled the honorable national stances of the people of Bahrain, which met their aspirations with an unprecedented unanimity that embodied the unified Bahraini identity entity which aspires for development and civilized progress. His Majesty affirmed that the Charter will remain a beacon for Bahrain's march and will enhance democracy and development. His Majesty the King stressed the need to move forward on the path of work and achievements and achieve goals that enhance the Kingdom's position among developed countries and meet the aspirations of citizens for further development. He praised the efforts of the people of Bahrain and the important role they play in strengthening the Kingdom's leadership at all levels, affirming that Bahraini citizens will always remain the focus of national development. His Majesty reviewed or renewed Bahrain's solidarity with Syria and Turkey and also provided support and assistance to overcoming the effects and repercussions of the devastating earthquake. He expressed his appreciation and pride in the humanitarian relief efforts of the search and rescue team of the BDF's Royal Guard as part of Operation Thawad al ghaith in the affected areas of Turkey with the follow-up of the National Security Advisor and Commander of the Royal Guard Major General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa as well as the response of citizens and residents to the national campaign organized by the Royal Foundation for Humanitarians help to help Syria and Turkey and alleviate their suffering. His Majesty expressed appreciation for the humanitarian work carried out by the Foundation in this regard and affirmed Bahrain's noble humanitarian role and approach in providing relief to the needy and those affected by various disasters in brotherly and friendly countries. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the 22nd anniversary of the National Action Charter. In his cable, His Royal Highness expressed pride in the honorable people of Bahrain and their cohesion to achieve a better future for the kingdom through an inclusive national action approach with determination and ambition and pride in their honorable stances in various fields of national action that contributes to achieving the goals of the Comprehensive Development March that His Majesty laid the foundation of with the spirit of Team Bahrain. His Royal Highness affirmed that His Majesty the King's wise directives represent a roadmap for building a brighter present and future for Bahrain. He pledged to continue carrying all the responsibility to achieve His Majesty the King's visions and to build on the honorable national achievements that the Charter was based on and to continue working according to its principles and values in implementation of the aspirations of His Majesty and the continuation of the path of development for the sake of the country and all its people. His Royal Highness wished His Majesty the King continued health to continue achieving further progress and prosperity to Bahrain under the leadership of His Majesty. His Majesty the King sent a reply cable of thanks to His Royal Highness in which he expressed pride in His Royal Highness's congratulations on the occasion which represents an important turning point in Bahrain's modern city with the qualitative development of political life, strengthening national partnership, economic and social development and building a democratic society. His Majesty the King proudly recalled landmark achievements since the defining moment that paved the role for the reform project to restore the development of Bahrain. His Majesty praised His Royal Highness's role in the National Action Charter's march from its beginnings through sharing the committee in charge of activating the charter and setting visions and programs to achieve its goals and the aspirations of the Bahraini society. His Majesty hailed His Royal Highness's efforts to achieve further progress at all levels through developmental initiatives, plans and projects. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women on the 22nd anniversary of the National Action Charter. Her Royal Highness praised uh, this uh, national milestone, which has deep historical significance marking the beginning of an era of development 
achievements in the prosperous era of His Majesty the King. She said, or she paid tribute to Bahraini women and hailed their dedication, participation, and the march of national development, reiterating commitments to continue implementing His Majesty the King's uh, vision and aspirations for Bahrain. She commended the positive impact of the milestone on the status of Bahrain as high performance in terms of development and renewal to be among advanced countries, highlighting sustainable development strides based on equal gender partnership. Her Royal Highness hailed His Majesty the King's care and unlimited support for the development of Bahrain, stressing the importance of the milestone as a catalyst for Bahrain's progress and prosperity. His Majesty the King sent a cable of thanks to Her Royal Highness, noting that this glorious occasion represents a shining moment in national history and embodies the unity of Bahraini people and consensus on national principles. His Majesty the King hailed Bahraini women's honorable achievements thanks to the principles enshrined in the Charter praising Her Royal Highness as the SCW's president and her sound directives. His Majesty proudly recalled landmark achievements since the defining historic moment that illuminated the way for the reform project to restore the development of Bahrain and its people, including the gains achieved by Bahraini women. His Majesty the King praised the constructive role played by Her Royal Highness in enhancing Bahraini women's status among women or status women among women and supporting their contributions to national development. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the National Guard Commander General His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa on the 22nd anniversary of the National Action Charter of the NAC. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed affirmed that the NAC is an embodiment of the people's full support for His Majesty's reform that marked the beginning of a prosperous era. He wished His Majesty the King abundant health and happiness and Bahraini people further development and prosperity under his leadership. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the Royal Court Affairs Minister, His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa, on the 22nd anniversary of the National Action Charter. The Minister stressed that the NAC reflects the Kingdom's development in various fields, embodying His Majesty the King's reform based on justice, freedom, and tolerance. His Highness Sheikh Ali noted that the NAC is the outcome of the wise vision of His Majesty the King, praising the development process outcomes in various fields. He wished His Majesty abundant health and happiness, and the Bahraini people further development and prosperity under His Majesty the King's leadership. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the Commander of the National Guard, His Highness General Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa on the 22nd anniversary of the adoption of the National Action Charter. His Highness extended to His Royal Highness on behalf of the National Guard affiliates congratulations on the national occasion. His Highness emphasized that the National Action Charter, which was adopted unanimously by Bahraini citizens, will remain a beacon for the Kingdom's progress and prosperity. His Highness General Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa wished His Royal Highness continued success in achieving the goals of the Kingdom's comprehensive development led by His Majesty. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a congratulatory cable from the Minister of Royal Court Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Isa Al Khalifa on the 22nd anniversary of the adoption of the National Action Charter. His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Isa expressed his pride in the Kingdom's wide-ranging achievements thanks to the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. His Highness emphasized that the Charter laid the foundations for the democratic process in the Kingdom. His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Isa wish His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister continued success in achieving the Kingdom's goals of the comprehensive development led by His Majesty the King. His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs, His Highness Sheikh, Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the anniversary of the National Action Charter. On the occasion, His Highness Sheikh Nasser said that the Charter embodies the vision of His Majesty the King and translates the national cohesion which makes the adoption of the Charter a bright mark in the Kingdom's history. His Highness noted that after the vote on the Charter, the Kingdom witnessed development in all fields thanks to the directives of His Majesty the King in drawing the features of the future of Bahrain. His Highness noted that the vision of His Majesty the King and the widespread popular support of the Charter placed Bahrain in an advanced rank in terms of modern democracies and the protection of rights, in addition to focusing on consolidating the foundations of comprehensive development in various political, economic, social, tourism, youth and sports fields. His Highness expressed pride 
in the national occasion and recalled the civilizational achievements of the kingdom during His Majesty's prosperous era in various levels. The Kingdom of Bahrain celebrates the 22nd anniversary of the issuance of the National Action Charter today, which marked the beginning of a comprehensive and sustainable development process in all sectors led by His Majesty the King and was able to consolidate the foundations of modern democracy within the frameworks of the rule of law and institutions with the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. On this occasion, the Kingdom recalls His Majesty the King's leadership of the national development process with wisdom and insightful vision that the reformulated, the formulated uh, the political, social and economic reality of Bahrain and achieved leadership for the kingdom with the participation of its society. The anniversary of the National Action Charter is an opportunity to recall the popular support of His Majesty the King in voting on the Charter to develop the democratic process and achieve achievements. The vote on the National Action Charter translated the popular consensus and presented an advanced model in building a state of law and institutions. More in this report. On the anniversary of the National Action Charter, the Kingdom of Bahrain proudly celebrates the solid foundations laid by His Majesty the King with the support of his people that contributed to the advancement of society and its institutions. After His Majesty the King's accession to the throne, the National Action Charter came as a pioneering idea in which all Bahraini people participated. A drafting committee of the National Action Charter was then formed to reach consensus and balance in the Charter's outputs for the people. After the charter was put to a public referendum, the high percentage of those who approved it was a result of democracy and the belief of the people of Bahrain in the vision of His Majesty the King to develop the democratic experience. The vote on the National Action Charter represents an advanced model in building a state of law and institutions which is a source of pride for all Bahraini citizens. Under the patronage of His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs and chairman of the National Committee to support the earthquake victims in Turkey and Syria, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the first shipment of Bahraini relief aid was dispatched to the quake hit Turkey and Syria. On the occasion, His Highness Sheikh Nasser extended his deepest thanks and appreciation and gratitude to His Majesty the King, the Honorary President of the Royal Humanitarian Foundation, the RHF, for his initiatives to support the afflicted in brotherly and friendly countries, as well as extended his a helping hand to those in need across the world, which is within the Kingdom's efforts to strengthen the pillars of global solidarity based on the fraternal and humanitarian bonds among all people. His Highness commended the support that the RHF receives from the government, led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, affirming the RHF's honour in implementing His Majesty the King's directives. His Highness expressed the Kingdom's solidarity with the Turkish and Syrian people in facing the humanitarian crisis resulting from the devastating earthquake, noting that the Committee has prepared a shipment of urgent relief aid in compliance with the Royal Directives praying to Allah the Almighty to rest the souls of the victims of the quake in eternal peace and to bless the wounded with a speedy recovery. The Republic of Turkey and the Turkish nation I would like uh, to thank, uh, first of all, to His Majesty King Kamat, uh, His Royal Highness uh, Crown Prince, and His Highness Sheikh Nasser, and uh, Bahraini people uh, for their strong cooperation with our country. The search and rescue team of the Royal Guard of the BDF continues its extensive search operations as part of its humanitarian relief mission operation Sawad al Ghaith in a number of areas affected by the earthquake that struck Turkey, which resulted in recovering a body of a man who died in a specific neighborhood allocated to them by the Turkish authorities in the Hatay region. The team's participation comes under royal directives from His Majesty the King, King Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, with the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, Prince Salman bin Hamad al Khalifa, by facilitating all the necessary procedures for the mission. Also, with the support of BDF Commander in Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed al Khalifa, by providing logistical support for the team. National Security Advisor and Commander of the Royal Guard, Major General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, expressed pride in the rescue team, noting that these directives and support have a positive impact on their high performance and professional work alongside the rescue teams of brotherly and friendly countries, wishing the team success in this mission. 
The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, directed to allocate three cars as awards for uh, spectators on the occasion of the horse race held on the cups of His Highness and his children, organized by the Rashid Equestrian Horse Racing Club and the latest or the last round of Bahrain International Trophy held next Friday. On the occasion, His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed appreciation to spectators for their prominent role in the success of various events, affirming that incentive awards stem from the keenness on supporting international and local sports events in Bahrain. He noted that horse races are popular among Bahraini spectators as a result of the efforts of the high authority of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club, led by His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, which aim to develop the sport and make further achievements in international participations. Under the patronage of uh, the first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, the SCYS, chairman of the General Sports Authority, the GSA, and president of Bahrain Olympic Committee, BOC, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the International School Sport Federation's Gymnasium 2024 logo was launched in the National Theatre of Bahrain in the presence of the deputy president of the Supreme Council for Environment, deputy chairman of the High Authority of the Rashid Equestrian Horse Racing Club, and member of the SCYS, His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa, the Vice President of GSA, His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, the Under Secretary for the Cabinet Affairs Ministry and Deputy President of BOC, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa. The event was attended by the Minister of Information, Dr. Ramzan Al Naimi, the Minister of Education, Dr. Mohammed bin Mbarak Jumha, the Minister of Works, Engineer Ibrahim Al Hawad. The Minister of Health, Dr. Jalila Hassan, as well as a number of ministers, senior officials, ambassadors, and heads of foreign missions residing in Bahrain. On the occasion, His Highness Sheikh Khalid expressed pleasure in launching the official logo of the Gymnasiad to announce Bahrain's readiness to host the largest sports event in terms of participants in October 2024 which is a result of the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to the youth and sports sector. His Highness added that Bahrain has come a long way in preparing for the Gymnasiad and that launching the official logo reflects the keenness on providing the best preparations for participants and the Kingdom's guests. His Highness Sheikh Khalid expressed aspirations that the event will contribute in launching new school sports talents to support clubs and national teams and achieve all the other goals for which they were established. His Highness affirmed that Bahrain's hosting of the event is an extension of its successes in hosting major sporting events which reflects the development of Bahraini sports in light of the support of His Majesty the King, his Royal Highness, the current Prince and Prime Minister, and His Highness Sheikh Nasser. His Highness affirmed Bahrain's keenness to provide all facilitation to aid the success of the event, hailing the cooperation and efforts of all concerned authorities to achieve distinguished successes and enhance the Kingdom's progress. He added that Bahrain seeks to enhance its leadership in providing an integrated set of distinguished programs that aims to develop the capabilities of young people from all over the world in the field of sports, in addition to continuing to develop sports infrastructure and facilities in accordance with international standards in line with its endeavors to consolidate the kingdom's position as a global destination for tourism, especially sports tourism. For his part, the chairman of the executive organizing committee for the Gymnasia 2024, Ishaq Abdullah. Ishaq has affirmed that this sporting event would enhance the presence of the sports industry as an essential element in the social and economic development of the kingdom. The Council of Representatives held its weekly meeting chaired by Speaker Ahmed Lim The Council approved the law of the Unified Industrial Organization of GCC countries. It also approved the issuance of the statement on the occasion of the 22nd anniversary of the National Action Charter. Finance and National Economy Minister Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa headed Bahrain's delegation to the World Government Summit 2023, which was held in Dubai under the theme Shaping Future Governments. In the presence of UAE President His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, Vice President, Prime Minister and Dubai Ruler His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum attended. Sheikh Salman highlighted the government's commitment shared by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to enhance its performance in accordance with best international practices. 
He stressed the importance of summits and forums that bring together elites, government leaders, officials and decision makers from different countries to exchange practices and models of effective government practices, which in turn will contribute to achieving goals set out. During the minister's participation in the high-level meeting on the sidelines of the summit under the title Climate Financing in the presence of the UAE Minister of State for Financial Affairs, Mohammed bin Hadi Al Husseini, Director General of the International Monetary Fund, Kristalina Georgieva, and a number of other ministers and officials. He stressed the importance of developing innovative solutions and providing adequate funding to build and invest in national capabil or capacities, adopting green technologies, increasing in energy efficiency to meet climate challenges. Sheikh Salman noted the IMF's pivotal and important role, along with financial institutions in supporting efforts to confront climate change and achieve the desired economic growth. He understood the importance of partnership between the public and private sectors in achieving sustainable green growth and activating the role of the private sector as an active partner and an essential element in the development process. He commended the efforts made by Bahrain Sovereign Wealth Fund, Umtelakat, to develop a sustainable investment strategy in line with the objectives of the comprehensive development process in the kingdom. On the sidelines of his participation in the World Summit of Governments, the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, met in the presence of Minister of Sustainable Development, Noor bin Ali Al Khalif, and Minister of Industry and Commerce, Abdullah bin Adel Fakhru, with the President of the World Economic Forum, Klaus Schwab. The Minister has stressed the prominent role played by the annual meetings and global economic events in the transfer of knowledge and exchange of experience and expertise, and discussing ways to overcome the various financial, economic, and development challenges in a way that contributes to the growth of the economy and the achievements of aspirations and desired goals. They also reviewed the latest developments in the global economy. Under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, the second Gulf uh, Downstream Association GDA International Downstream Conference and Exhibition was inaugurated. The Minister of Oil and Environment and Special Envoy for Climate Affairs, Dr. Mohammed bin Mbarak Mandana, hailed the keenness of the government headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to support various activities and conferences in Bahrain which are aimed at achieving the goals of the comprehensive development process. He noted that Bahrain has made many developmental projects in this vital sector, particularly the Bob refinery modernization project adding that it will achieve the desired transition to a new phase through the use of industrial digital transformation technologies and applications of artificial intelligence. The minister noted that the conference is a good opportunity to explore investment opportunities and incentives for large uh, vital projects in GCC countries and the Middle East. He stressed that the refining industry in the Middle East is witnessing continuous growth in investment for its importance in developing and diversifying the national economy despite the current challenges. The Minister of Oil and Environment inaugurated the second GDA International Downstream Exhibition with the participation of various local Gulf international companies in the field of refining and petrochemicals. The event attracted over 5,000 delegates who include industry executives and would provide a rare opportunity for the industry leaders. The Minister hailed the keenness of the government headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to support various activities and conferences in Bahrain which are aimed at achieving the goals of the comprehensive development process. The Minister toured the pavilions participating in the exhibition where he was briefed on the latest products offered by the companies in the field of oil refining and the petrochemical industry. The Ministry of Interior Challenger Tennis Championship, which witnessed six matches within two second qualifiers, continued with three matches within 32nd round of the tournament on the second day of the tournament. The competitions of the 32nd round of the tournament will be completed with 13 confrontations on the tennis courts in the Officers Club, where Bahraini Yusuf Qad will play his first match in the tournament and will face Daniel Michalski, O'Connell and Kopritva and Jengel Storm into last 16 round of the championship. In the second qualifying matches, Turkish uh, Yanki Erel defeated Japanese Kaito Osugi. Ukrainian uh, Vitali Shako beat Russia's Andriy Shipilev, while Norwegian uh, Viktor Durazovic has defeated Italy's uh, Salvatore Caruso. Tough match actually. I was down 4-2 in the first set, so, uh, but uh, 
uh, I win the win somehow. I, I just came back from the 4-2 and uh, I was 34 the breakdown. It was almost a double break and uh, I came back somehow and uh, now I had a, a tough match. So I had a good win as well because I know the guy before he beat me before in doubles. So uh, I knew that it's going to be a tough match. So uh, I find a way to through the way. So like, I'm happy with the results. So now I have a main draw. Uh, I'm just waiting for the draw. I hope I, I had a good draw and then uh, I can win the first one as well. Today I felt really good, a bit nervous because it's, I've never been to main draw. It's such big events. So. Anyway, I won, so looking forward. <laughs> the the match was uh, pretty good from my side. Uh, I didn't have any uh, expectations about about the the game of, of myself, but I played really good, and I think I I made a early, early break, so that made me that made me more comfortable to the game, and I was leading uh, I think whole whole match, so that was the point of the of the match, and I won I think quite easy, but. Yeah, long games, but I won, so that's good for me. Um, I played pretty well. Uh, my last match was uh, in the Australian Open, so I've had about a month off, so it was good to get that match uh, under my belt. Uh, it was a solid match.